Hey guys, I'm Parker Nichols, and I'm from Austin High School, and I'm going to be doing a short little devotional for y'all today. Now, the title of this devotional is called Brokenness to Wholeness. Now, I'm going to be in uh, Luke chapter 7, verses 36 through 50. Now, in these couple verses, a man named Simon is hosting a dinner at his house, and he's hosting Jesus. Now, back then, when a person hosted a dinner at his house, they had a set of rules they were supposed to follow, such as uh, when the visitor arrived, you were supposed to kiss the person's hand as an act of welcomeness, or you were supposed to wash the person's feet, and you were also supposed to anoint the person's head with oil. Now, Simon, he didn't do any of this when Jesus arrived. He didn't welcome Jesus with a kiss on his hand. He didn't wash Jesus' feet. He didn't even go get water for Jesus to wash his own feet. And he also didn't anoint Jesus' head with oil. Now, Simon, he's, he's a wealthy man. And with, that made him comfortable. And he was also high in power, which made him respected and feared by people. Basically, Simon, he was an arrogant man. Now, during this dinner... A woman arrived, and the, the Bible says that this woman was a woman who lived a sinful life. Or in other words, she was a prostitute. Now, when the woman entered the room, she goes to, straight to Jesus. Now, keep in mind that there's other people in this room. But when she, when she got to Jesus, she fell down on her knees, and she started to weep. She knew that she was a sinner and she knew that she had done wrong. She had come to the end of herself. Now, this woman did something just amazing. She used her tears to wash Jesus' feet. And then she used her hair to dry Jesus' feet. And then she started to kiss Jesus' feet. And then she poured some of her perfume on Jesus' feet. Everything Simon did, or didn't do, this woman did. Now, uh, when this happened, Simon saw all of it. And the Bible says that Simon said, If this man were a prophet, talking about Jesus, he would know who is touching him and what kind of woman she is, that she is a sinner. Now, Jesus didn't see the person that this woman was or what she had done, but Jesus saw the person that this woman was going to be. Now, if I'm just talking to one person in this devotional, then that's okay. But I just want to say that you can never be too broken to go to Jesus. Always remember that brokenness is the way to wholeness. Love you guys.